Hey guys, welcome back. I am Golden Knight. I'm bringing you another episode of Life is Strange. We are on episode Previously four. On Life is if you haven't watched my last episodes, Whoa. go back and watch them before you watch this. Go. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Nuts. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's creepy. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Okay. So, uh, this will only be like, this won't be like a long episode. It will be like one of my shorter ones, like 20 minutes. My standard ones. I should say that's a standard episode. Um, it is late. I got to get to bed. But I definitely wanted to get this in. This game is addicting. Look at that crab scuttling. Right, get across. Get across. Get across, beef. Go get something. I don't know what's going on. I don't see the whales anymore. Oh, wait. Maybe I do. Is that a whale over there? It looks kind of... Can't tell. Yep, there's a whale. My one friend did uh, play, start playing into episode 4. He didn't tell anything to me, but he said like, How can you choose? So I don't know what he was talking about. I'm guessing we're going to find out. Yeah, look at all of them. So that's what we remember in the last episode, right at the end, we saw that she was, uh, it looks like she's completely paralyzed. She's almost basically a vegetable. Guess we're gonna find out what happened. My girlfriend is thinking it's maybe she got weird. in an accident with her truck with and she showed the car keys. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. 
Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Oh. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. Okay, I thought she couldn't move her head. I can do that. But she just turned, so... my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh, come on, click. There we go. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you Why is with the car? remember no, everything? I, was right. I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. We don't know what's going on. We changed time. She might not know Rachel, but we'll do this. What missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. Probably Rachel. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. <laughs> but none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word. No offense. None taken. Oh my god. That'd be really hard. I can start to understand what she would go through or what a friend would have to go through with something like that. Part of me doesn't want to understand. I wonder if I'm be able to go back in time to change that, but then I'll have to take his life. Um, William was his name? The dad? I don't know. Oh, it's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Oh my or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. 
Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Uh, there's the water here. Oh, here's a cup. Should probably take this. Drink up, Buttercup. <laughs> oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? Oh, that's not a bad idea. I wish idea. I could punch your face right now. A podcast? It's a great Dude, idea. I am a pod in a cast. <laughs> Boring. There you go. You Gosh. can use that. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Seems like yesterday. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour. Kind of was Even yesterday. My parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Uh, we're gonna say that. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But... I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Oh, we'll they love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. Blade Runner. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I, I don't know. think I ever watched Blade you Runner. Incredible with blue hair. I'm a loser. Now let's get this show on the road. I'm a loser, and you better not baby. fall asleep on me like you always do when you watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Okay, we gotta go find the movie. I think she told me where it is, but... Um... Max, it is so cool that you're here again. So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. Okay. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. <laughs> Pirate power. Oh my god. Ah, uh, here's the DVD. Got it. Oh, I'm so smart. Looks like everything's nice and organized in her room. There's no uh, spoilers in this episode for Blade Runner. I should really see that movie. So my girlfriend has a theory that Chloe is gay, but I'm not exactly sure if that's true or not. But that's why she flew off the handle about Rachel, and we just saw her give her eyes. But I don't know if that's because of the friendship. I don't know. 
Oh, it looks like I fell asleep. Oh, is it? <laughs> I guess it was actually nighttime when we woke up and it's morning again. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? What? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No. Oh no. I'm so <laughs> oh, don't ruin it. So hard. Okay, I'm gonna wipe Please that from my memory. Me. I didn't hear what they said. I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Okay. Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. I bet spinal but injury. You can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. All right, we're on this. Let's go get the drugs. I am not talking to anyone because Victoria. The hell? Max, are we cool? I make sure you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. The fuck? Come by my room tonight. What is all this? Max, you busy girl, avoiding homework as usual. I told you I'd help you out. You never let me help you. Okay, drama stop. Okay, drama stop. And you help me by caring. I do try. By the way, I scored that killer bud f from you know who, FYI. Oh, oh. Okay, so smoking pot. Oh, wait, I got some other messages here. Hold on a second, guys. What the hell is all this? Uh, hey, Max, shame that we. Uh, it's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alyssa, I saw you throw that TP at me. Oh my god. So not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. Chloe. Uh, don't tease me. It's been too long. I know. I'll see you soon. Okay, this was about coming over and seeing Chloe. Maybe it's time to go digital. I have to call you later, Mom. Don't pout. Love you. Hey, honey. I hope you didn't forget to water your plant. Okay, same stuff. I'm not going to go through all of it. Yeah, I cried like a bitch. <laughs> so did I. Okay, something about cry wait. Your mom is a badass like you. Uh, my stupid phone is about to die, so call me back. Alright. So, just random crap about my new friends, I guess. And let's go get that morphine. Uh, I think the bathroom is over here. Yeah, it was. Okay, I can't hit the light switch. Oh, there it is. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. All right, nothing there. Nothing here. What? It might be in one of these. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Hmm. Here it is. Oh, OK. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Yeah, that's actually something I wondered about if I was still aging, even though I was reversing time. Because time doesn't affect me in a sense. So I, sh I mean, it affects me forward, but I can't reverse my own time. I don't know. All right, we got the morphine. I'll talk to him, but we know her head really hurts, and I bet you it's, like, terrible. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. 
Go oh, ahead shit. and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. The blue pill. That's from the Matrix. All right. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Out. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Okay, so it looks like we're going to stop here. The photo album is, what, right here? Yeah, there's the photo album. So we're going to stop right here, guys. Um, like I said, this has to be a little bit shorter because it's just kind of late and I have to get to, I have to, get to bed. Um, but the good news is I am moving into my new place in a week. So things are going to change around then, but I'll do another vlog about that. But I already have vlogs about that, so you guys can listen to that. But I'll do another vlog about updates and more updates and always updates, right? Okay. So, yeah, but we did uh, learn some very interesting things. I am i don't know how she's going to handle this. I bet you she's going to try to go back in time or something and fix it if she can. If I can find another picture, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. But thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, and until next time. Over there and let's have a flashback. Bye, Chloe. I'm talking here. Be my first. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, who's off?